The year is 2022 and boy was it a monumental year for the channel. So before we set off into the new year of 2023, I'm going to take you through the top 10 moments of 2022 with some honorable mentions here and there because it was quite difficult to only pick 10 moments. My name is Ian and let's get right into it starting with number 10 bumping into a monster. I could probably make a top 10 list just from Leonhardt's pop-up shop alone, but I've picked just a small handful of memorable moments. The first one making the list is when we met Pat Flynn from Deep Pocket Monster. Deep Pocket Monster, can I give you a present? Uh, I just opened this and I want to give it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. At the time, we were barely getting our foot into the Pokey community. I mean, just look at our subscriber count at the time. This moment alone snowballed into snow, snow many things. So many things. Little Ian got a Charizard from Pat Flynn, which we later got signed by him. We made a review video of the pop-up shop, which was then featured in Deep Pocket Monsters review video of the same event. Then our video blew up a bit, and our relationship with Deep Pocket Monster grew over the year with raids. Yo, we got an Ian with Ian raid. Shoutouts. Everybody check out Ian with Ian. I met them at Leonhardt's pop-up shop. And eventually leading up to a collaboration. But all of those things wouldn't have happened if it didn't start with this moment right here. Number nine, the VIP treatment for us. Next thing on the list also took place at Leonhardt's pop-up shop while we were killing some time opening up some chilling rain packs. A member in the VIP line decided to give us his VIP wristband because he didn't want to wait three plus hours just to get a vintage pack. But we were crazy enough to do just that. I don't really want to wait in line that long. Yeah. <laughs> like, if yeah. it would mean something to you guys, I'd love That'd you. Be great. So we humbly accepted that random act of kindness from this man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you. If you recognize this man, have you seen this man? Or if you yourself are watching, sir, please contact me because of your generosity. Little Ian was able to get a vintage pack for the very first time. We almost didn't get the vintage pack because they had a list of names of the VIP members and we didn't catch your name, sir. But with some dramatic improvisation, Papa, please don't do this to me. Little Ian was able to get his first vintage pack and pull a hollow. Number 8. Pokétuber Battle Victory Another one makes the list from the pop-up shop. I promise this is the last one on the list from Leonhardt's pop-up shop. So we met a Vietnamese Pokétuber who goes by the name Pokey Ninja. He was generous enough to sponsor a pack battle between us, himself, Pat Flynn, Real Breaking Nate, and Pokey Rev. Okay, Rev wasn't really in the battle, he was just spectating, but for entertainment purposes, we'll just say he was our cheerleader. And although the hits weren't crazy in the battle, Little Ian did come out on top and he was cheered on by all of these legends. It was truly a battle between David and Goliath. Goliathus. Goliathus? Isopods, making this an unforgettable moment. Number seven, singing with the very best. For our number seven spot, we are moving on to another convention slash event, Collecticon. We went to two of these in 2022 and we had the time of our lives. From meeting so many different people, seeing so many different types of Pokemon cards, we truly had many unforgettable moments. However, the top moment goes to when we were able to sing with the legend himself, Jason Page. I want to be the very best. No one ever was. And if you know me, you know I like to drop a few tunes here and there. It's raining. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's raining cards. So it was very nostalgic for me. And having Jason Page sign Little Ian's Pikachu hat was just icing on the cake. Number six, what happens in Vegas. Back in August, I was presented with two options. Go to another Collecticon or go to Las Vegas with a bunch of Poketubers for an amazing collaboration live stream event. And originally, I had opted to do neither of the two. But then it occurred to me, what if I drove there and raided the stream in person? So with the help and support of the community and a lot of caffeine, this was able to happen. Let's go! Let's go! 
Ian with Ian. Let's go. Ian's here. Hello. And that was such a great feeling. And the next two days in Vegas with the crew was simply amazing. Number five, love from the man down under. We are halfway there and I'm thankful that you're still sticking with us. If you're enjoying the video, please consider smashing the like button, subscribing to the channel, tickling the notification bell so you never miss a beat. But enough of that. Starting off the second half of this video stars none other than one of my closest YouTube friends, my rival, Woody underscore 333. This amazing man and his family sent us a mystery box and amongst all the goodies and trinkets that were inside of it, none of them compared to the vintage fossil pack for me to open on the channel. You did not. Now, my luck wasn't as good as little Ian, because I didn't pull a hollow like he did, but getting almost every complete evolution line in one single pack, aside from the Psyduck, was definitely some major binder love. So Woody, thank you. Number four, we hit that 1K milestone. Coming up with which milestones, milestones? Coming up with which milestones to celebrate wasn't too hard. And for us, hitting 1,000 subscribers while we were both live streaming is just astounding. 1K subscribers! And we wouldn't have made it without all of y'all. So thank you to all of you for that wonderful milestone of a moment. Number three, lead us to the light. Arcanine. We're getting down to the final three here. Now there is one vintage card, one of the first vintage cards on the channel, that carries a story. A story that deserves its own video one day. And that is the first edition Light Arcanine from Neo Destiny that was pulled for us by Leon Hart during one of his live box breaks. But it wasn't until the great Poke Surge offered to grade three cards from our collection that the Light Arcanine cemented itself further into the lore of our channel. So when we sent the Light Arcanine to Poke Surge to get graded and it returned a 9.5 from CGC, this was my reaction. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> well deserving of the third spot on the list. Number two, birth of the schoolboy salute. Now for number two, we're going to cheat a bit since this event didn't happen in 2022. It happened in December of 2021, but its effect on the channel and the cultural impact it has had on the community cannot be understated. And that is the moment we pulled a rainbow schoolboy full art from Fusion Strike and we performed our first ever schoolboy salute. Now the first schoolboy salute doesn't look like it does now, but having others in the community do it with us or when I pop into a live stream and people throw up the schoolboy salute with the emojis or the streamer does it, it's absolutely amazing and it makes me feel really good inside. Okay, we've arrived at the number one spot on the list of top moments in 2022, and it goes to number one, the Chonkachu. Now, the moment didn't necessarily come from the video itself, but more from what the video represented. It wasn't an unboxing video. It wasn't a review video. It was something that we really hadn't done too much of on the channel. It was a simple... Okay, it wasn't, it wasn't that simple, but it was a short film essentially, not really expecting much. Then shortly after, Elon Musk does this for me. Oh my God, monster pull. You can actually thank Colin's dad for that. Then at the live stream collaboration with Chase Corner TCG, this happened. Oh, yo lucky leave oh! you on. <laughs> Pause it. And that feeling right there is what makes this moment the top moment of 2022. Say what you will about manifestation and speaking things into existence, but pulling that card after releasing that video and having all of y'all in the chat connecting with me on that very same level, I've just never felt so connected with the community over a video. I can't, I can't even describe it. And now that very same video is our second top performing video on the channel. So this card represents so much more than just filling a hole in a binder. It symbolizes for me the electrifying connection that we in the community can have with these shiny pieces of cardboard that we all know and love. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 
So those were our top 10 moments of 2022. Do you agree with this list? Was there anything that I left out? Leave a comment below of your most memorable moment in 2022. It doesn't necessarily have to involve us. And also, what are you looking forward to the most in 2023? Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Ian and here's to wishing y'all a happy new year's. We will see you in the next one.